So I'm doing a little bit of a service on my bike and uh, still a few months away from the big trip to Central Asia. But let me just show you some of the things that I'm doing here. It's a little bit dark. Get the light turned on here. So here's the beast. You just got the real, rear wheel taken off. The oil is taken out. Uh, I'm gonna change the oil later. Do uh, just a valve adjustment. But the problem that I have right now is uh, is inside this piece. Okay. What this is is basically it's a, this is what the uh, rear wheel, which is over there. The rear wheel attaches to this. This is the final drive. Okay. So on this bike, instead of a chain like most bikes have. It's got a drive shaft, all right? So, the drive shaft comes from the transmission, which is turned by the engine over there. The drive shaft is inside this thing. I just discolored that. And this basically converts rotational movement that way into this way and turns the wheel. And there's bearings in here and the bearings I think probably from my Georgia or Armenia trip and uh, those horrible roads there, they got a little bit worn because I, there's a little bit of play in the rear wheel. You can feel it uh, sort of going like that. So we have to take this out and then we have to take it apart and put some new bearings in there. All right, so the annoying thing about uh, BMWs is uh, these these pins here okay one on this side one on uh, this side they're they're screwed in and at the factory they're basically glued in with with the stuff called Loctite and Loctite basically seals this screw uh, this pin into the uh, into the hole and uh, if you turn it just like this you'll you'll break it and you're gonna have to replace you know the whole swing arm which is a very painful and costly replacement. So what you have to do is actually heat it. You have to heat it to 120 C and then you can turn this and, uh, and take it out. And then once you take these two pins out, this whole final drive comes out. So let's do that right now. Some gas. Uh, got lighter. I don't want to do that. Oh, let's try this again. I shouldn't be moving this around too much, should I? All right, let's see if this will turn now. actually see some of the blue Loctite thread locker in here. It's just coming out. And basically if I didn't heat that, if I hadn't have, if I hadn't have heat this, uh, yeah, that thread locker, basically it just binds the metal together and it would, it wouldn't come out, it would just break. Pin. and uh, you can just see some of that thread locker there which we broke loose and this thing's gonna just fall out I think which will be disappointing uh, yeah it fell out uh, there you go Final drive. Now if I give you more hands. All right. All right. So we have the final drive here that I just took off. And uh, basically I want to get inside it to clean it up. And then uh, to 
replace the bearings. Uh, well, let's see how that looks first. So, let's get this thing off, basically. I just have to take this rubber mallet and just smack the living daylights out of it until this piece just starts popping off. So, let's try that. Starting to, starting to come off over here. Yep, there we go. And there you go, look at that. Alright, so this is your final drive. And uh, you can you can see here. There's a gear basically right here that's turning, right? And uh, that just basically connects to this part, the crown gear, and that turns the wheel. Okay, so I have this all taken apart. Here's the crown, the crown wheel, uh, which basically goes into here, and still has the bearings on it. These two bearings. Now, if you can hear this, I'm gonna bring it up close. When you spin this, it's making all that noise. Okay. And I have a new one. I have a new bearing here. Okay. And this one, as you can hear, it's completely silent. All right, so here's the old one. Right, and this is basically what the entire rear wheel is uh, is riding on. Is this bearing basically? This, you know, is sitting on the rear wheel and the axle, or the final drive, and this is basically turning the rear wheel of the bike. So, really important part, and uh, I'm going to take this to get it replaced.